Ms. Weikert, can you tell me uh, other agencies had the opportunity to submit reorganization plans with their own perspectives. Did you offer this opportunity to the Postal Service? Um, I, I don't know the answer to that question. Do you have in your possession a reorganization plan from the Postal Service? I do not. Do you know why not? I do not. Did OMB consult the Postal Service at any point in the process of creating such a plan, or did your task force at any time even ask for it? Again, you don't know? I don't know. So how did you come up with this recommendation or plan on privatizing the Postal Service, keeping in mind that the Postal Service does not fund itself with taxpayers' dollars. It funds itself based on the sale of their products. In addition to that, it operates under a directive of the Constitution. So how did you come up with a plan to privatize it when you have not engaged the organization? And could I add to that, when you're talking about reorganization, I'm looking at the members of the task force who are political appointees, did, have you had a forensic audit of tasks and desk audits of these departments? So that when you, this is, a, this is a very severe recommendation. It's very high level to say I'm a privatizer and then actually put it on the selling block for the highest bidder is what I'm reading into this proposal. And you have not even engaged the organization but you have political appointees who have sat at a table, and to me, I will be honest, looks like a political, just throw it up against the wall, we should privatize it, when you haven't, to me, addressed the constitutional responsibility as saying that there is economic challenges when the Postal Service pays its own bills because they do not use taxpayer dollars, so you're putting apples and oranges together, and I'm very, very concerned that a recommendation of privatization, not reorganization, but privatization, is something that this task force to, and I'm not seeing the expertise or the due diligence to even get to that point. I'm extremely concerned. You're saying all the right words. I'm very impressed with your presentation. You obviously understand a lot, but right here in this, in this lane, you're lacking a lot. That for me to have you to sit here and say privatize, to sell it off, when this body has been working for years to come up with a bipartisan plan, bipartisan, because we're trying to service the country based on our constitutional requirement. I need you to say something other than I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate the, the, um, the passion and the commitment to the topic. Um, on this particular proposal, it very much was looking at the long term with the understanding that there were a number of players looking at the near term issues and again, every proposal that made it in here was looking at a combination of are we achieving the mission, the service, and the stewardship responsibilities. And the, the notion of an independent organization that's meant to be self-funded but that has $100 billion in unfunded liability. And part of that is because of what we did. We put legislation together to address that because we're all in this body who has the constitutional responsibility as well based on our oath. We have pushed that forward. How in the world did you get from saying we want to be economically feasible to selling it to the highest bill, biller, uh, bidder and to privatize it? I just don't understand that leap unless it is purely political. I wouldn't say it's, it's purely political. What I would say, and again, in the front of the volume, we looked at what are those things that are fundamental um, to the mission service stewardship components. So why wasn't reorganization even put on the table? So the, 
external analysis and looking at other proposals, including how other countries have looked at this, definitely feed, fed into that. But what I would say is... But I just want to interrupt you. You looked at other countries, but you did not talk to the organization that you're talking about privatizing. Something seems wrong with that, that you would sit in a room and look at other international post companies, organizations, and make a recommendation to privatize it and sell it without even doing your due diligence for what we do in America and looking at the forensic operations to look at where are the cost deficiencies. I am very concerned that this is not appropriate. My time is up, so I'm going to close with this. This body who has the legislative responsibility based on the people who voted us here, I would hope every single one of us will stand up and have the political courage to say we must meet those economic uh, responsibilities. And we will continue to do the that, but this time is, is not a professional and it looks political and unacceptable. The I yield back.